So, it's your boy JT. So, in lieu of the Peterson Garcia fight, I think it's a perfect time to make that Triple G Gennady Golovkin versus Willie Monroe prediction. So, why do I say that? Because I feel like this can be a very, very similar fight to the Gar- Garcia versus Lamont Peterson fight. Why do I say that? Well, because of the styles, man. Um, Willie Monroe has very, very fast hands. He uses a lot of movement. And um, he he's a un- very underrated boxer. You know, I think this is going to be a better fight than what people are banking on and and giving credit to. And even as far, even as much as, um, as far as Vegas, you know, they have Monroe at 80 to one underdog. I mean, I personally have never seen odds that wide. I've, I've never seen it. I mean, I think Tyson and Buster Douglas was like, what, 36 to one or something like that. But 80 to 1, I mean, this is unheard of, man. I mean, uh, I think that's way too wide, way too wide. Just giving Monroe literally no chance in hell. But, you know, why do I say another thing about this being similar and why you guys should pay attention to this fight as far as in lieu as, in lieu of, Garcia Peterson is the ability to cut the ring off. You, you know, I, I see, I hear a lot of people constantly bring that up, cutting the ring off, cutting the ring off. You know, but see, here's the thing, man. If you ever been in a boxing ring, if you ever box someone and they want to stay away from you, it is very, very, very difficult to cut the ring off, man. It's not something that's easy to do. I think people are are using that term and and are underestimating that the fact that it's very very difficult and it takes years of training to to do that. I mean, it's very difficult to do, man. If someone wants to stay away from you, especially if they're taller and bigger than you, it's very very difficult, man. And you know, there's only you know, you never even really heard anyone talking about it, really, until Triple G uh, mastered it, well, pretty much. You know what I mean? Um, it's very difficult to do. And as you can see, man, how many people in, in, in the sport today is really good at it? I mean, let's just think, man. Triple G probably the best. Floyd Mayweather is very good at cutting off the ring. Nicholas Walters, I noticed that he's really, really good at cutting off the ring. And uh, who else? A few others. Um, you know, it's it's not something that's easy to do, man. But you're going to see how the Terminator, Ganovkin, is going to cut Willie off. And he's going to blast him out of there. I'll say probably, i see Willie will be on the ground Within the first four rounds, he'll probably be stopped within six. Um, I think this dude is, is just a special fighter, man. Top five pound for pound fighter, Golovkin. I just, Willie, he just doesn't, he's just not in the league of a Golovkin, man. You know what I mean? But stylistically, it's a good fight. You know, it's just a matter of can he take the power? I mean, I don't think Willie's ever been down. He's never been down or knocked out. So, you know, we're going to see how, you know, how they deal with the, the Golovkin power, man. I just don't, I don't think anyone at, at middleweight, and uh, I find it hard to believe people at super middleweight, people banking on that, man, but I don't, I don't think guys at super middleweight probably can take it either, man, because you look at a guy like Murray, who really is a super middleweight, to be honest. Um, you know, the dude got, he, he just was on his bike within, you know,
know, within a couple rounds, man. So expect a lot of movement from her, uh, um, from uh, Monroe. I expect him to be on his bike early. You know, he's going to try to stay away. Can he do it for 12 rounds? I doubt it. Can he do it for 10 rounds? I doubt it. I see him getting blasted out within six rounds, man. Um, Golovkin just too strong at middleweight, man. Too strong. I mean, the dude just, he's hitting like a sledgehammer, man. These people are feeling the punch, and, you know, there's a visible grimace on their face and and, 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 and visible damage being done. You know, people are getting stunned and hurt badly with, with the jabs and right hands. It's just, it's going to be a barrage, man, because Monroe likes to cover up on the ropes. You know, I, I expect um, Golovkin to really tee off on him, man, really tee off on him. I would like to see Monroe take it deep into a fight, you know, to see what, you know, what he can do with that style. Because a lot of people are banking on the fact that they think Triple G can be outboxed, you know. Anybody can be outboxed, but they think. They're acting like that is the, the style to beat him. I personally don't think so because I think he's a great boxer. I think the style to beat him is um, a guy that can punch um, and, and and can take a shot, man, like a boxer puncher. You know, I don't think just a boxer is going to be the answer. People like to think these guys like Laura. Laura has no chance in hell. He, I mean, he's... He has no chance in hell against Triple G. Monroe has no chance in hell. I don't think Andre Ward has a chance either, man. I just don't. I don't think. I just don't see a, a guy with with not a big punch being able to stop him, man. I mean, I just don't. You have to have something to keep him from throwing them bombs, man. I just don't think Andre Ward is one big enough to 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 keep him off of him, and he doesn't have the power to do it. So. Um, yeah, man, uh, I mean, cause I, I, I've been seeing Ward training, man, I mean, recently, and he's very, very small, man, he looks small, he looks like a middleweight, actually, he looks very, very small, I don't see him fighting that super middle, I mean, that, uh, light heavyweight, he, he's just, he has really thin legs, and he's just a really, he's a small guy, man, so, Anyway, this has nothing to do with Ward. But anyway, man, I got Triple G blasted Monroe out of there within six rounds, man. Um, I think Monroe is, I hope he can do some stuff in there, but I don't think he can take the punch. But anyway, man, I'm just rambling on, man. It's your boy JT. I'm out.